Making change. Change is the amount of money you receive back when you make a purchase. To find out how much change you should receive, subtract the price of the purchase from the amount of money you gave. Remember that when you subtract money, you have to line up the decimals. If there is no decimal, it is understood to be at the end of the number. Let's look at a few examples. The pack of pencils you are purchasing rang up as $1.32. You give the cashier $2. How much change should you receive? We must simply subtract $1.32 from $2. But don't forget to line up the decimals. Remember that $2 can be written as $2.00. Now, simply subtract. Answer, zero dollar and sixty-eight cents, or sixty-eight cents only. Does this answer make sense? Yes, it is reasonable that you would receive sixty-eight cents back as change. If we had put sixty-eight dollars as our answer, we would realize it doesn't make sense to receive $68 back when you only gave the cashier $2. Veronica bought a pair of shoes for $18.35. She handed the cashier a $20 bill. What coins and bills will she most likely receive for change? We must start by finding out how much change she will receive. Line up the decimals and subtract. But the question asks us which bills and coins she will receive. The one dollar, of course, would be a dollar bill. But what about the 65 cents? Cashiers typically give back the fewest coins possible. So the cashier would give two quarters, a dime, and a nickel. Answer, one dollar, two quarters, one dime, and one nickel. Does this answer make sense? Yes, it would make sense you would receive a little more than a dollar back in change. Camden is selling candy bars for a dollar twenty-five each to raise money for a school fundraiser. If you buy one and pay him with a $5 bill, what bills and coins should he give you back as change? First, you must subtract to find the amount of change. Remember to line up the decimals. $5 doesn't appear to have a decimal. So it is at the end, and we can also fill in the understood zeros. What bills and coins would this be? Of course, Three dollars is three dollar bills, and seventy-five cents 
is three quarters. Answer, three dollar bills, three quarters. Don't forget to ask yourself if the answer makes sense, which it does. Take a look at the summary of the lesson.